Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, what to do if a man is friends with his ex. Real quickly before we get started, if this resonates with you, if this video makes sense for you and you'd like to get on the phone and chat with me, please click the link below um, and we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one call. Okay, let's just jump right in. What to do if a man is friends with an ex. Um, this is actually a very interesting question for me personally because, um, and let's differentiate ex-spouse versus ex-girlfriend, okay? And, and this can work inversely, ex-husband and ex boyfriend uh, kind of thing, so for women as well. But um, I think on some level, if there is an ex-spouse and there's children involved, on some level, you would hope that the two people can be friendly with each other for there to be an amicable relationship, that they be at least friendly with each other. Because anytime an ex-marriage is confrontational and there's children involved, I can say that that is oftentimes a disaster, dating that kind of person. I'm sure you've experienced this before. So on some level, you would like them to be friendly with each other, cordial with one another, and ideally that they're co-parenting in a healthy way. But let's talk about relationships. Let's talk about those intimate relationships where there's not a bond of property or children and they are still beyond friendly with an ex. And I can say that I've gone through this experience. I was, after my divorce, I met a fantastic woman. We were in a relationship on and off for six years. And while the relationship didn't go the distance, there were a couple incidences between those on and off years where, where we ended our relationship we were incredibly friendly with one another, um, and I wasn't really prepared to be in a new relationship because I still had an attachment to this old relationship. I still had an attachment to this old relationship. So that's not a healthy space to be in because what I was experiencing in this relation, this connection with this other person is something called emotional sex, emotional sex. Now the irony of this is the person that I'm speaking of happens to be the author of a book talking about emotional sex. So my ex-girlfriend um, is the one who wrote the book called Chatting or Cheating, Chatting or Cheating by Dr. Sherry Myers, Chatting or Cheating by Dr. Sherry Myers. And what was fascinating is I was actually involved with helping her. I mean, I was involved in the process when she wrote the book. But what I didn't realize was when we ended our relationship, we were still very much connected to one another. And that's not a healthy place wasn't healthy for any woman I was dating subsequently after. So what I want to, so you definitely check out the book because it talks about not just infidelity, but how we can be emotionally connected with someone, even though we may not be physically connected to them. So what to do when someone is friends with an ex? Well, I think first and foremost is determine what level is their friendship? Is it merely do they send Christmas cards to one another or say hi for birthdays, or are they talking on the phone incessantly every single day? I can say that when she and I ended our relationship the third and final time, we made an agreement to no longer discuss intimate matters with one another, um, and I no longer kind of was calling her all the time as my confidant. Um, now, I will say that we are in, in each other's lives, we treat each other like family, but we are no longer at that intimate emotional sex kind of level that we were once were. So what you want to kind of find out is where is this person in this relationship with this other person? And if they practically have to draw the line in the sand and say, I won't give up this relationship for you, well, first off, I want to say if you're putting a line in the sand, you're going to be probably met with confrontation. But what you want to find out is how deeply are they connected with one another? How often do they speak to each other? What do they speak to each other about? Is it more social and casual or is it more intimate and personal? When it's deeply intimate and personal, they could possibly be having emotional sex like what's talked about in the book. And what that means is the emotional sex is they're emotionally connected to one another and not just in a friendly manner. 
which is the more healthier way because i do believe if we've ended a relationship with someone we love and we're in a space where we don't pine for them sexually or emotionally i think it's possible to be friends with an ex i think it's certainly possible rare rare but possible but if they're pining for the other person or the other person is pining for them that's not a healthy place for you to enter into relationship with someone who either has an ex that still wants them back or they want their ex back. And oftentimes um, those are pretty obvious, the ones who want their ex back. I can certainly tell you when I was in a uh, dating after our relationship, it was so obvious. I mean, it was so blatant that no woman should have dated me during that time, but I've certainly healed from that. And we've healed our relationship to the point where we have a, a healthy boundary with one another. And that's what's most important because you can be friendly with an ex provided I believe that there's some healthy boundary in place. And those healthy boundaries are not talking about intimate and personal things, especially about any new relationship you're in. That's an absolute boundary. They, you know, you shouldn't be able to, I, I don't care how friendly they are, it can create some um, divide in relationship for all parties involved, especially if they're in relationship with someone else. I think you get a gist of where I'm going. So what to do if uh, someone's friends with X? Ask really good questions. That's what you do to make sure that they're not in a space where they're still emotionally attached to that person or that person's attached to them. Okay, hope you found some value in this video. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Please post a comment below if this resonates with you. If you think this is rubbish, if you think I'm full of shit, I wanna hear about it. Uh, again, if you'd like to learn more about me, click the link below or check out my book, uh, Self Love the Book, or it's called What the Heck is Self Love Anyway, but the link is Self Love the Book. And I'm gonna sign off this video as I always do, giving you a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Uh, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.